Hi, so uh, I'm back as promised to talk about the blonde ale uh, that we did about three weeks ago uh, into the bottles. I guess about two weeks ago into the bottles. Uh, about four weeks ago we brewed it up. Um, so we'll see how this meets expectations. Uh, first, I'll, I'll tell you that last weekend I did bottle up two batches of beer. I did the uh, Hefeweizen and another batch of the Weizen beer. And what I thought was going to be about a two-hour proposition rapidly turned into uh, about four hours. And I think what really kind of dragged me down was all the sanitation I was sanitizing between batches. So uh, it did add on a lot of time. I, it, not that it was a big deal, but uh, next time at least I'll, I'll know I'm not going to hit that two-hour mark. Uh, usually when I do one batch, I'm just a little over an hour from start to finish. And this added quite a bit on. Of course, there was I always do put a... A label on the caps too to say you know what it is and and uh, when it was brewed so I can keep track of everything uh, and so that I mean when you start to extrapolate that out over two batches I'm sure it adds up in time so uh, and then all the dual sanitation you know not only between the batch but but at the end of the batches really adds up so figured about near four hours for me to to get it all wrapped up um, but today we really want to talk about more beers uh, blonde Ale, their kit 133, uh, which I bought through morebeer.com. They sell this one for about $24.95, so again, it, it ranks right up there with the uh, the 50 uh, cent per beer uh, kits. <clears throat> it's got a really nice creamy head on it. And uh, hopefully you can see the color. Um, it's a little cloudy, but it's a it's a very nice color. Um, they their description of this they say it's a blonde ale that's a, a great starter beer for those who are are uh, new to craft beers. Uh, an easy drinking ale, low in esters, balanced with enough uh, hop character, accentuate the uh, malt profile. Uh, and they say that they brew it for big party events. Um, again, with with most of the pictures that they have on their site, when they talk about things that are great, uh, you know, either bridges from you know American classics, uh, or um, you know this particular beer, the Blonde Ale. When you look at their site and you look at the picture, it's going to look like a Miller or a Budweiser, and and you can see it's it's really not that color. Now it's not as dark as a Weizen beer for sure. Um, I think it has a great color. Um, the one thing I did notice about this particular beer when I, I did the uh, fermentation step is that it took about 48 hours to kick off. Uh, so I had it about a week in the, the primary and then I like to do secondary fermentation so I racked it off and it was over there for a week. Um, the target in their kit says about a 4.5 and I ended up with a 4.32. So pretty close in the range there uh, and it's been sitting now in the bottle for about 10 days. Um, and uh, let's give it a shot. You know, it's got a nice aroma. Uh, you can smell the malts in it. Uh, but unlike the Weizen beer, I'm not picking up any kind of fruity aromas at all. It's really good. It's a really good beer. And I can taste the hops in it. You, you can see it's again a very, a very, you know, nice color, and uh, you know, real light body, uh, real clean finish, um, really nice beer. I'd say this is probably a, a good beer for uh, sitting out on a hot summer day. Um, it's got a clean finish and. Again, probably a nice beer if you're going to introduce your friends to uh, your home brew if you want to start out with something that's kind of mild, because this is a very mild beer, um, but tasty. I mean, it has a good flavor to it. Um, and then you could work up as you introduce them, you kind of step them up the level of flavors. Um, you know, I'd recommend this to anyone who's starting out in home brewing that wants to have something that's a mildly flavored beer. So, uh, up next uh, will be. Uh, trying the Hefeweizen 
and uh, that's uh, that's one of the beers obviously that I bottled over the weekend so that's gonna have to sit for you know 10 days anyway before we crack it just to give it some time to condition um, and we'll see how that turns out I've had my brother's Hefeweizen before it's been very good um, and we'll see how this turns out and then uh, obviously we've got the wit beer uh, which I'm really uh, excited to see how that's going to go um, with all the coriander and orange peel and, and the really nice aroma that uh, I got when I was racking it off into the fermentation pail. So, uh, real curious to see how that's going to turn out. And then uh, we'll see how that goes and we'll, we'll give it a review as well. So, uh, until next time, happy brewing. Cheers. Really nice beer. This has been a Maddie Boy presentation. Say bye bye, Maddie. Bye bye.